Well, you know, we're, we're, we, we really serve as the collective historical memory of the Northwestern community. You know, it's our job to really uh, to uh, acquire and preserve and make available the, uh, the uh, documentary record of the history of the university. Asperic is so closely associated with the growth and today's prominence of university archives at our university that although he will be leaving behind a well-ordered house and a very capable <laughs> staff, his departure is still going to be felt as an almost seismic event in the history of this library and the entire university. I, I started when I came here. Uh, you know, the archives have been in existence for, since 1935. That gentleman over my shoulder is the founder, you know, uh, Professor James Alden James of the History Department. And the archives was founded in 1935, but it, it really, uh, not very much happened until 1974 when I arrived. And when I came here, I found that uh, there were two filing cabinets of records in the university. That's it. That's all there was. Now we have uh, over 25,000 cubic feet of records. Uh, that box over there, that gray box, uh, uh, that's one cubic foot. So you, uh, you can see that, uh, that gray box of records. That's a cubic foot, and we have uh, over 25,000 of those. And all of that has, uh, we brought in. Uh, we have to go out to offices, we have to analyze and evaluate the records, and then we have to pack them up into containers like that, and then we have to carry them ourselves. Usually using my old car, and my 88 Caprice and its predecessors. Uh, that's how we we have physically brought all the records into the university with our own, you know, hands. The Leopold and Loeb uh, uh, kidnapping ransom note, for example. You know, the, you know the great people who murdered Barbie and Bobby Franks in the 1920s. Uh, we have the telescope that was used by the two Northwestern people who explored Alaska in the in 1867 and then came back and recommended to Secretary of State William Seward that the United States purchase Alaska. People come through the portal and come in here to use the archives, it changes their lives. You know, they keep coming back. Uh, once they find us, uh, the whole romance of working with original primary sources is something that that uh, you know uh, just engages these students like you know very few other things did during their academic career. You know, so it, it, there, there's a real romance of working with archives that most people never experience.